So this is the video to accompany the article on developer.force.com that I wrote entitled Authorizing Force.com Web Applications with OAuth. Now this shows how the consumer application is built on Google App Engine uses OAuth to authorize access to data on Force.com. So the flow of the application is that the user enters the site and they see a message that they need to authorize access to their data on Force.com before continuing. So they're going to go ahead and click this link right here. When they click the link in the background App Engine is going to send a request for a token on the Force.com platform, and if it responds correctly, it's going to relocate the user to Salesforce to view the remote access application. Now, since I'm not logged into my org, it's going to ask me for my Salesforce username and password. If I'm already logged into the org, it's going to bypass this step completely, and it's going to take me straight away to the remote access application. So here's the application that I'm trying to authorize. You'll see it's got a logo that I specified and the name of the application and some text that describes it. And at this point, I can either author or approve the authorization request or deny it. So when I approve it, it's going to send me back to my Google App Engine application, the consumer application, and it's going to pass back a bunch of tokens. Now, these tokens are going to be stored in the database for future reference. So now when I come back to this application again, since I've already authorized it once, it's going to use my access tokens in the database to use to create a new session with Salesforce. So I only have to authorize this application once. From then on, it's going to use those tokens to, to establish a new session for Salesforce. So now that I have my session, I can go ahead and fetch a list of accounts, and I can fetch the contacts for this account. So that's the application I'm using OAuth to authorize Force.com applications for external apps.